Angie! Yeah? Come here, I want you to try this. I'm testing the new Sour Series. It needs to be more sour. Yeah, it's not sour. That's hard. That's hard. It's ready. It's right. No, listen, I have the combination. I got it. It's perfect. It's exactly the way we want it to be. Perfect. Brand new? No. You keep them in the box with the, old. with the paper and everything? <laughs> I just want to be like Jay. <laughs> you know, he says he's got tons of unopened boxes in his closet. I, I bet he does. He literally wears a new pair every every expo. And then still wears Atomics. Like, he's got a shoe fetish. Yeah, right. Well, if I have a shoe closet like him, I probably would too. You know why he does that though, right? You heard him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's having his traumatized from his childhood. <laughs> I think I was the same way too. Whenever you had holes in your shoes? Well, I just, man, whenever I want my dad to like get something that was like of this era, it was like, no way. Like, he would want, he really would want me to wear dress shoes to, sh to school. Really? Man, those old school Cubans are all about wearing like dress clothes. Like I had, I think I was like four years old, I had a watch, gold chain, a bracelet with my name written in diamonds. <laughs> but then I'm like, hey man, can I get some like Nikes? No way. We're going to go to the Salvation Army or Payless, which, which would have been fine. I'm not one of those kids. But then he's driving around in a half a million dollar car. He's all decked out. What was know? the car? It's called a Zimmer. Wow. Yeah, maybe we'll try and find a picture so you can throw it yeah. up. But yeah, it's like a... It's like a four hundred thousand dollar car. Wow! And I never drove it. I was only allowed to clean it, fucking detail the shit out of that. But then, even when I was gonna go to prom with her, I'm like, "Hey, can I take the car to prom?" Nope. And now he gave it to my sister. So now I'm never gonna drive it. I'm never gonna have. I it. didn't know you had a sister. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She she just had a baby actually. Oh wow! Like a, like a what month. what's her name? Julia. Okay. Yeah, Julia Gulia. I don't know. No, it's not. It's not. <laughs> That's from the wedding singer. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Hold on, no. This is the shaker, yeah? Yeah. <clears throat> so we'll just make it seem like I was already out here. <sighs> Why did he bring the pyramid outside? I love this view. <laughs> That's awesome. When you did that wrap up of the bread video, I'm so glad you did it here because I was gonna suggest I'm like I'm not gonna tell him what to do and stuff, and you did it exactly how I would have asked you to <laughs> do it. I was just like, oh man, yes. And you went it. It was about this time. It was all orange. Yeah, and stuff. it was yeah, great. It was just perfect time. I was on my way to the gym. Yeah. Because I actually forgot. I was like, oh shit, I got forgot. I got to do that. That's great. Jay told me two amplify and one prevail. That's <laughs> the secret. He called me. Told me the secret. I just gave. I just gave it to everybody. <laughs> You would think that you would do two of this strong yeah. and one, but no. He's not a big uh, but fan of stems. Well, you yeah. don't need it. You no. really don't. The thing that I notice the most is the the focus. Yeah. It's actually what I'm going to steal from my own supplement company. I never realized how much I liked it until I took this. When people were like, um, hey, can you grab me water? You know you just mentioned you're going to have your own supplement company on camera, right? Uh-oh. Whoops. <laughs> 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 yeah. Did you ever publicly yet? No, I don't. I don't understand. That's it. About it. I've only been putting little hints out on Instagram. The cat's out of the bag. Yeah. That's awesome. I'm excited. I'm just excited to do my own thing. And, I, and I've just I've worked at Vitamin Shop and GNC for years. I've obviously been with so, so many companies, so I know what I like, and it's cool to be able to do one 
um, on my own terms. Things that I like. So you'll never get fired again. <laughs> that's, that's the main positive. <laughs> it's the job security. <laughs> I'm never going to have to hear, Bo, we're going to sponsor you for life. You're, you're part of the family. Uh, thing is... That's thing awesome. Thing is... <sighs> hey, some old school Max Muscle for you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wow. Bringing it back. Yeah, man. There's probably people watching videos that don't even know what Max Muscles are. I know. It's so sad. Yeah. Let's look at this. Life doesn't suck. Yeah, Jay's going to say, that's exactly what he would say, the life right yeah. now. Well, you know what? I had to have all the shitty first to be able to appreciate this. Yeah, that's true. I think if I had started this or this is my life or I grew up here... I meet a lot of people in San Diego have never left San Diego in their life and they're just like, yeah, San Diego's great. But they don't know what they got. They really don't. They really don't. So That's true. Very true, man. Let's do it. All right. <laughs> I like your ride. Uh, it's meant to uh, it's meant to be driven in San Diego. Right. This car. It's true. Southern exactly. Cal. Yeah. What are we training today? We'll do some arms. You changed the routine for me. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody wants to watch glutes and hamstrings. <laughs> Girls. Just watching we Girls would like glutes it. Glutes over and over again. <laughs> Real deal. How are you, Chris? <laughs> How's it going, man? How's doing? How's that image? What's up, Jay? What's up, baby? Isn't it good? Good, bro. Coming out video tomorrow. Good. Ooh, baby. Oh, yeah. So, so she was like, oh my god, that's a sick picture. I didn't even know you took that. That's right. That was a good one, huh? Oh, yeah. All right, all right. Exciting. Junior! How'd it go? Good. He listens. Hey, he's just fun. Right, all right. That was a point. That was a point. No, 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 because I gotta warm up, otherwise I'll do this. So we did. Okay, I need to go to the bar first. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
Batman. Okay. Ah. 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 Ah.
I'm filming all this, just so you know. <laughs> just so you know. <laughs> all right, guys. Five weeks out from the Arnold Classic, your very first Arnold Classic. I like the shirt, by the way. Thanks. <laughs> nice. Good color. Uh, so we're at the gym in San Diego. Uh, last time we were in the uh, Golds, and um, you're different when you're in your own, own gym. Your attitude is a little different, I gotta say. Uh, you feel I more mean, at ease, or you feel more. Man, the atmosphere is just, it's just so much better. There's those amateurs walking around here that are more motivating than some of the pros at Golds. And you know what? It's not their fault. I was there too, and it just kind of makes you real sedentary when you're there. You just kind of like go with the same flow, and no one's really pushing anyone. No one's really like supporting anyone. And I'm not trying to bash the gym because I feel like that's how I always come off bashing Golds Gym. But that's that is how it is. And sometimes, even as a pro, I need to see people killing it. And it, it reminds you, oh yeah, I used to kill it like that when I was hungry to get my pro card or whatever it was. Uh, but also, being able to drive from my house straight here in like six or seven minutes is a completely different feel. Uh, so yeah. Chris, we just uh, trained arms uh, with Sergio and we got some, I mean every picture we, <laughs> every picture we took, the screenshot is like picture perfect. It's like pictures from a magazine. It's like, it's kind of mind blowing what it looks like. And just like Sergio was saying, you know, you, uh, have so much more time leading up to the show. He's excited because he's like, this is how much time we train together. This is how much time I have left. Like he keeps saying that over and over. It is really exciting. What do you think about what he looks like so far, honestly? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty impressed with the, what we've been doing so far. Like I haven't seen some of the things that's happening on this physique before, before this situation now. So part of it is the work you put in before I came. And then after that, I'm just like artistically like, Surging up cuts and, and definition and development, so it's awesome. Like, we it, had a, a good head start coming in, but now it's like just switching a whole other uh, realm of development and uh, connection. Uh, the pose is getting better. Uh, some of the things that he was doing, totally like even like at the Olympia, I was like, oh shit, you know. But uh, now, wait, you're saying like in a, in a bad way? Like, yeah. oh, okay. Not, <laughs> no, I, I know what you mean, right? Because I've, I've watched shows with him now where he's like, oh, no, nah, what are you doing? So it's good to know that you're watching me doing the same thing. <laughs> it's so, true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's, it's part of when you're younger, right. when you're coming up, your first time up there, stuff like that. You know, you got your feet right now, and I'm just trying to put in his mind different things, like even doing a set or 
took a time where we were, you know, sitting around or whatever, just like, I'll come up with something, like, hey, like, think about this, you know? Think about with the time when I'm trying to make my first call out at my biggest stage. This is your time. You gotta take it. You gotta be like, put it in your head. This is what's gonna happen. This is how I'm gonna do it. This is what I'm gonna do when I get up there. This is what's gonna happen. You gotta just think about that and just make it happen. Visualize. You know, yeah. yeah. Visualize and make it happen. That's how you gotta do it. You just gotta take it. No one's gonna give you anything. You just gotta take it. Wow, that's uh, golden nuggets of knowledge right here. Yeah, yeah, it's different coming from him too. It's yeah. like, it's weird, it's almost it's almost like he, we were talking about it earlier when we were working out, like that what if factor, you know, like that's my biggest fear is to think about what if. You do have what ifs in the back of your head and him now passing that on to me before I get to that stage where I'm like, oh, if only I had started doing this, I am, now I am doing those things. So yeah. it's cool to hear it from him living that life and, and living not only the, the wins and the victories, but also the defeats and the mistakes. Yeah, I'm so glad we we, we, we got the chance to do this series with you because I remember how impressed I was when we first shot, which was I think like 13 weeks out. And this is the third shoot technically. I'm not gonna count the leg one, but let's say. Uh, and we just shot uh, six weeks out, which is actually only four days ago. We're five weeks out now, but it was just last Friday. And from last Friday to today is a huge difference already right. in your body. I, I can't believe how fast you're changing. So I am excited to see what it's going to look like in three weeks and the day of the show. I can't imagine it's going to be so cool. I, I wish uh, I would love to know what the Cito's thinking. <laughs> He's yeah, not going to yeah. tell us. Yeah, we talk. We talk. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, me and him, and we just go over things on different aspects of his physique and areas we want to improve, want to pay closer attention to. Yeah. He has those talks, you know, a few times per week. So. He needs that feedback from you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. for sure. But we're, we're, we're dead on in the same same mind frame. So it's, uh, it's kind of neat to hear what he's got to say and vice versa. And, uh, yeah, we're just doing it, man. It sounds a lot like... Um, what you're saying reminds me of what Psycho, Psycho Fitness was saying about Sean leading up to the Olympia. You know, between having you here all the time, being able to give Chris that feedback, it's key for him to be able to adjust the diet so you can actually be the best you right. can be, right? Because yes. yeah. you're not going to tell him. I mean, yeah, but Psycho's full of shit, so it's a completely big. Difference. No, I understand, but he gave he gave that feedback that, yeah, yeah, yeah. that Chris having needed. Yeah, yeah, someone right that's not the athlete. That's the right. Feedback. Yeah, that's what I mean. The feedback is so egotistical and so full of shit. <laughs> it's not the same because Chris Chris is going at it about like the bigger picture and and he's not trying he's not here to take credit. He's not here to say that he did this or he did that, even if he did do it. So yeah, yeah he, but doesn't, he doesn't in, need to. In in the point that you're making, yeah. it really reminds me, man, how lucky am I? Because how many athletes get to have two greats, you know, getting together to make an athlete better. That's you right. You know, they're they're not they're not my dad. Like they're not they're not a family member. They're not like a sponsor where they're gonna get money out of it. You know, it's just two people that actually genuinely care about me. And they believe in you. Right. And that's really what it comes down and I, to. And I worked with Chris myself when I was when I was young, and uh, I know his mind frame. I know what he likes to do, and I know uh, uh, you know he's gotten better over the years. I understand that. But still, his his frame of mind is around that same type of attitude. And yeah. The same type of. Uh, uh, Thinking. Yeah, I just love the fact that you're here to fill in Chris so he can do his job the best yeah, he can. Yeah, yeah, and I think yeah. it's important for yeah. for nutritionists. Yeah, just yeah. because man, you know I me, mean? I always talk yeah. Yeah. truthfully. Yeah. <laughs> I did I did the I did the same thing similar with Chicago training with Milos. Oh that's right. But Acido and Milos are not on the same page. They're not? They have different goals, they have different uh, mindsets mm. and that didn't work. So they never talked with each other. And that's not good. And, yeah. and even when I would say things to Chris about, hey, Milos was suggesting this, or he was thinking about this, it completely had nothing to do with the plan that uh, Zito had. Yeah. So it actually uh, did not coincide at yeah. all. So yeah. this is the first time I've actually had literally two people with my best interests in mind trying to not only get me ready for this show, but also the rest of my future. Yeah, yeah we have five weeks to the Arnold, but we've been talking about Australia Arnold. We've been talking about maybe doing the Cal, the Olympia, you know, so it's it's a really exciting. And again, man, how lucky am I? But in the same aspect, I'm so lucky that if I fuck this up, then this isn't for me because I literally have no excuse not to be my ultimate best. And that's a challenge for me. You will be your best. I think you'll be your best. And what, what that's going to do is that if you don't win, 
I think you'll be okay with it. Because if you've done everything that you... Then well, that's it. You really won. And next time you'll be better. And you'll be better and you'll be better. And eventually, you know, that's... Yeah. Right, Chris? For sure. That's 100%. it. He just said, our only goal is, is that no one behind us is going to catch up to us. And that, <laughs> and, but it's true because, you know, Bonac, Rami, Dexter, no matter what, they've been doing this longer plus years longer yes, than that. Yes. So it's hard for people that are just getting the body to understand muscle maturity and, and uh, time under tension. You, you can go in with the belief that you're going to win, but still they've had this time in the gym longer than you. So them beating me is not going to be a toll on right. my, my, uh, my mind. My goal is to not let anyone I beat beat me and to, to get even further away from people that maybe were catching up to me when I wasn't doing so well last I year. I love that. I love that. That's a, that's a good way of thinking, man. That's awesome. Guys, we're going to wrap it up for tonight, but we're going to see each other again very soon. And we're going to spend a whole entire day with these guys. So I can't wait where <laughs> I get to see all the little, <laughs> yes. all the little details of what's going on in the day of the life of Sergio and Chris. Thank you so much for watching the show, you guys. Thanks, guys. You, you look awesome. And then I can't wait for the next time we see each other.